Hey everyone, it's Blue. So, you know, I've got clients <laughs> everywhere and we're doing a lot of work and it's just been on my heart to really just start getting this going on YouTube, right? So I want to do some collective readings or however spirit leads, but right now collective is where I'm at. So, hope that you like, feel free to connect. Uh, I'm going to start with some energy reads. Well, I like to kick things off. It's been a lot of stuff going on lately, um, especially with today. And, you know, uh, it's June 24th, or now it's 25th, and the alignment of the planets, which I didn't even know about until somebody told me today. But then it makes sense because late last night, I, um, I was drawn to go outside and look up in the sky in my front yard. Never go out into my front yard and just look up at the sky. I usually go out the back, right? And then I just was drawn to look up. And like right before me, it was just a weird, you know, like star. And I'm like, that's weird. That's different. And I'm thinking, is it the, you know, star of Sirius? Sirius, uh, was it Sirius A? Uh, I didn't know. And then I learned today it was the all of these um, the planets that this great alignment and then uh, which deck do I want to go with? And then um, today was also with all this chaos that happened with um, in our in the justice system here in the U.S. I mean rolling shit the fuck back like I was like really. Um, I mean, Ro they roll back Roe versus Wade. Then you've got the other person on there talking about Thomas, talking about we ain't done yet. <laughs> we coming after everybody. We coming after the gays. We're coming. We're, we're about to tell you whether or not you can use contraceptives, contraceptives or not. You got to be out your mind because <laughs> we are in the age of Aquarius. Y'all are about to get shut down. The collective will see to it effortlessly right um, of course you know when you operate in a space of fear which I believe that these things are happening see the old guard is operating in a space of fear they see in the they see things changing and as they see things changing they're coming out with these radical acts but one thing's for certain <laughs> This this new collective energy from the uh, in this this new way of living that we are being ushered into in this new age, we're not having it. The people will always win. So that being said, thank you, ancestors, Orishas, spirit, all of which of love, light, positivity, and prosperity. I am only a vessel. I've moved to do this and to to start doing this every single day. Just give me the strength. To be able to do it, give me the vision. Please let the cards speak. Again, I'm only a vessel. Whatever you have for the collective, just bring it forth. I say, I say, I'm in. All right, so let's come out the gate with it. So I want to just kind of lay out some cards for the foundation. Ashe. All right. Let's see what we got. And I do not really read reverses unless I'm moved to. So, first card out. Mama, Mom Lamba, self sabotage. Where's the camera? Oh, sorry. You probably there. You go. Self sabotage. First card out. So, that being said, self sabotage. Y'all need to be mindful of what you're doing to yourselves. Sometimes we have to let shit go. Sometimes we need to bring shit in. But be be, be forward thinking enough to realize or analyze how it will either benefit or sabotage your life. A lot of times we we, you know, do things, say things, entertain energies that we have no business entertaining. And it's fucking up what spirit and what the universe has for us. 
So be careful of that. Next card. Etheric chords. Mm. Right here. The message that comes with me on this one is that the relationships that we have, sometimes within, within our own family and within our own people, have to be either coddled or massaged or embraced or they flat out need to be fucking cut. Just because someone carries your blood does not necessarily mean that they're supposed to be part of your life. Think about it. Let's say, for instance, you had a family member who was a serial rapist. Do you feel like you're obligated to have them as a part of your life just because you carry the same blood? No. Not everyone in our families are for our greater good. Not everyone in our families are for, I'm going to try to lay that there. Are for um, oh shit! I'm trying to do that, I'm gonna have to buy a stand to keep this, these things up. In fact, I've got stands. I gotta just pull them out. Anyway, I'm just gonna lay it down because I can't hold it like that. Anyway, I'd rather just talk to you. Anyway, um, people think that because you're related to people, that you have to have them in your life. No, the fuck you don't. You absolutely do not. Um, if the if this person or these people are not aiding towards the betterment of your own life. You don't have to be nasty, but you have the right to cut them out. You have the absolute right to protect your energy. Do that. Next card out. Sacred lust. I love this card. Kind of reminds me of a lot of things, but I won't put that out there too much. But case in point, with sacred lust, what comes to me is that it's okay to be authentically you. Um, I, and it's funny that this card should come up on the very day that there are, that the justice system is trying to intervene in our bedrooms. Who the fuck are you? All because you have some set of beliefs that may not align with the next. This card here, when it comes up, the thing that I get from it is that be authentically you. Look at this woman. Normally you see where it's the male who has two women or whatever the case. Um, poly um, Amory or whatever it's called, polygamy. I don't know. But in this case, it's a woman. And these two men are there for no other purpose but to serve her sacred lust. I say the energy that I come with that is be authentically you. I know that we grew up with, with certain constructs built that tell us how they feel that we should conduct our lives and how we should live. How can something that was built and constructed and written so many years ago not be, what's what I'm trying to word, not be mindful of the individuality of, of, of people. Everyone has their own set of individuality. So how are you here to say, because when you wrote this or you put this energy out here or this, this construct of these rules or these laws out here, it was for what you were trying to build at that time and what resonated with the person who who wrote this and who enacted this and not give an account that people have their own individual, individual lives and on the individual spirit. So I, it was just fucking tunnel vision as far as I'm concerned. And for me, this card says, be you, do you. Your bedroom is your own bedroom. And my power card today. 
Maashe card is cosmic power. It's amazing how this card also comes up, how these sets of cards have come up today, especially with all of the planetary energy that's going on. And it's just proof positive that, as the saying goes, as above, so below. What happens up in the atmosphere absolutely impacts what happens here on Earth with us, the marketplace. This, the Earth is the marketplace, right? Those who know, know. So embrace your cosmic power. Understand that there are forces at play in higher places and sometimes in no, lower places. But this is not what that card is called. This is cosmic, so it's higher. And just know that the, this type of power certainly impacts and has influence on our day-to-day -day lives and be encouraged to embrace it. Learn about it. All right? So now I'm going to go to some tarot. And I did some shuffling, but I'm going to do a little bit more shuffling. Hope you guys are having a great evening, morning. I mean, it's like almost 4 a.m. I've got all my windows up. So pretty sure if anybody's walking by, they're like, who is she talking to up there? Well, if you hear it, damn it, you need to. You need to hear it and take heed. All right, so let's just see. And I like to lay my cards on top of my foundational cards that gave us this energy to start with today. Because it's setting the course. It's setting the course. Let's go. See there? First card out. Ten of sticks. And I do write on my cards. This card speaks to loads being lifted, self-care, delegating responsibility. Some of you, as you hear, and they are under the sound of my voice, need to exercise self-care. Um, you know, and I think that's what these foundational oracle cards are leading up to. You got self sabotage, etheric cords, sacred lust, cosmic power. All of those things lead into self care. But what it also says is that once you start taking care of yourself, everything else will follow suit. Once you start taking care of number one, those loads will start being lifted, the load gets lighter. Because how can you take care of anything else if you're not taking care of yourself? So take care of yourself. Next card. One of my favorite. Bishop C.H. Mason. Now for those who come from the Pentecostal faith, Kojic specifically, you know who this is. And as I go into the story, I want you to see what he's doing. Yes, that's right. Root work. Why? Because Bishop C.H. Mason knew from his ancestors the power in nature and how you can use nature to manifest things in your life. I know people right now who are watching me who are of the Pentecostal Kojic faith are probably flipping their damn wigs right now. Well, you know what? It's time for your eyes to be open too. Yes, do your research. Bishop C.H. Mason absolutely understood the power in using root work and in using nature to bring things in. Mm -hmm. Demonstrated right here. Now the eyes are exaggerated in this picture, but this very same picture, you can go and look it up. The artist in this card exaggerated the eyes. I digress. The, the, the creator of this card um, have their own, own meanings, but this, this kind of resonates with the Hierophant card, right? Um, 
and, and the level of wisdom and how to go deeper and the unspoken rules. Some of you are on your spiritual journey. See Cosmic Power. It laid upon the Cosmic Power card. This card laid upon the Cosmic Power card. Some of you are going or being ushered into a new spiritual place of being, right? And it's 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 like the message that I'm getting is that you're gonna have to forget everything that you were taught. You're gonna have to make yourself a clean slate, a new canvas, so that you can build from the ground up and start learning at a higher level and going deeper and learning the hidden things, the hidden truths, the mystery of things, the things that books and scholars can't teach you, but only spirit can, only your ancestors can. The time is now. The time is now to elevate your spiritual walk. And you'll be blessed all the same for doing so. Next card, Six of Baskets. In the Six of Baskets, it speaks of like a childlike energy. You know, um, just harmony. Some of you may be in a situation where you're either embarking into like like about like you're about to go back into the dating scene and and rekindling an old flame but when you do this time walk into that with restored harmony walk into that with a childlike energy reciprocity is what i get from this card and just to keep things fresh speaks of somebody getting back together. So, anyway, when, you, when that opportunity presents itself, okay, my dog hears somebody outside. When that opportunity presents itself, just make sure that you go into it fresh and that you don't bring the same baggage in that you had before. That is the reading that I have for you today. I hope that you all are blessed, and we'll bring you more. It's blue. Yemuzan. Ashe.